Friends, I want to talk to you about something today that will transform your life. Recently, I went back to one of our old YouTube videos and I never do this, but I went to the comments and I started reading the comments and I noticed that there were five comments that people made that were directed towards the video, kind of negative, not really, not towards me, but towards kind of what I was talking about. But what I noticed about this is they were all negative in a different way. And I, I said, God, how can five people come against a video in a different way? And the Lord spoke something to me that was so powerful. And the Lord said, it depends what lens they're looking through. And so I want you to understand this in life. Whenever you're going through a situation, when you're going through a circumstance, a trial, test, tribulation, if, if somebody ever comes against you in life and they speak a, a negative word, first of all, you have to look at them and their opinion of the situation or their opinion of you and say, what lens are they looking through? You know, I tell my kids all the time as they've been growing up that at school, if somebody would verbally come against them for, for something, you know, I say, what lens do you think they're looking through? Are they looking through the lens of fear? Are they looking through the lens of insecurity? Are they looking through the lens of competition? You see a, a lot of people like sports commentators, they will talk bad about another athlete that got to a higher level in sports than they did. So a lot of times they're actually criticizing them on the lens of competitiveness. And so in life, you see that a lot of times guys in the gym, this is what guys do. A little guy walk in the gym and see some big dudes, they're like, oh man, they're all on steroids. Well, they're insecure in that because everybody bigger than them is obviously on steroids. A lot of times when, when girls are together, if somebody walks in and they just got their hair, did their hair is looking good, they'll say something negative about it. Well, why is it? There's an insecurity, there's a fear. Listen, we gotta get rid of that. What people need in the world is real and genuine. And one of the greatest compliments I ever receive from people is when they say, Joe, you're genuine, you're real, you're authentic. When you say something, we understand that it's the real deal. And so I never want to look at somebody, like some people ask me about, hey, what do you think about this minister? What do you think about this minister? I say, well, I really don't think about them a lot. I'm so busy doing what I'm called to do, I'm not thinking about anybody else. You know, my wife and I and our three kids, we're aggressively going after everything that the Lord it has called us to do. And so what I want you to understand is, is in life, a lot of times when I write for Elijah Liz Charisma and I write something, people are always writing negative feedback on stuff. But you know what? They are looking through the lens of dry, dead religion. They're looking through the lens of something else. Listen, if somebody's not coming at me real, I'm not going to listen to a word they have to say. Now, if one of my mentors comes up to me and starts talking to me about something and I feel that they're real, they're authentic, they're genuine, I'll listen to them. But so many times people have got off the course that God called them to because somebody came against them with the false lens. Recently, my wife was listening to a podcast. She's always listened to podcasts. And, and there was a, a, a very well-known female minister. And she was talking about, on one of her posts, somebody put about her, this lady came to our church and preached for me. And she was arrogant. She was prideful. She didn't talk to anybody. She was a diva. And it hurt that lady. And that lady said, I couldn't even sleep that night. So when she went to work the next day, she told her team, when did I preach for this person? I want to send them an apology letter. They said, you've never preached for that guy. He's a joker. So he was looking through a lens of he was trying to be funny. He was trying to wound her. A lot of times people, if they see you doing something they were called to do and they didn't do what was right in life to get there to that place, they will look through a competitive lens. They will look at a lens of, of envy, of, of kind of regret, and they will speak out against you. You can never, ever Pay attention to people like that. My friends, I'm telling you, you got to go for what God has for you. And in your own life, if something ever rises up inside of you, say, God, what lens am I looking through right now? Is it the lens of fear? Is it the lens of insecurity? Well, what kind of lens? Is it the lens of past failure? Abandonment? Well, what is this? You know, there's been times that people message me and they say, you know, Apostle, I would like to align with your apostolic network, but I just don't know if I'm good enough. And I said, well, I know that Jesus died on the cross for you. That makes you good enough with me. You know, and so people are always looking through these different lenses in life. We got to look up. And when you look up to God, 
There's no lens. We're, we're looking at an open heaven. So friends, I hope this helps you. Number one, don't wear a lens. And number two, when people speak to you, if there's something that doesn't sit right with your spirit, ask Holy Spirit, what lens are they looking through? And maybe you can go back to them and minister to them and get them set free. I hope this video helped you. Hey, my wife and I are giving our life to help people. In the description box below, we have so many different ways you can connect with us on social media. You can go to our website. We have a lot of books and e-courses and e-books on there and even places you can sew. And I want to say thank you to all of our partners.